you find me and Larry for the first time, please subscribe to both of our channels. Check us out on Instagram. And for those of you that keep saying y'all want to see me, Larry, um, Jay Moore, Mark Dart, holla at them. I've reached out to a few of these cats. They never hit me back. We will collab with anyone. Y'all know how we get down on this channel. Let's take a look at this trailer because we about to pick apart y'all's favorite broke dick Emmett for all his deeds. This is going to be funny. Take a look. What, nigga? Huh? What you thinking about? Nothing. I'm, I'm just... I'm just uh, tired. Yeah, because you've been working so hard. Yeah, I'm just trying to make sure everything's right before we open. It looks great in here. I ain't never seen something this clean. Yeah, but I got to put my stank on it. We got to put our stank on it. Yeah, yeah, we got to make it our own. So what you thinking? Um, I was thinking about getting some new chairs. Redoing the floors, um, maybe do a wallpaper, but only one wall. What's that? What's that called again? An accent wall. Yeah, 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 one of those. We gotta make some money first. Oh yeah, we will. What y'all gonna call it? Oh, Emmett and Dom's. Nah, nah, nah. Fuck that. Naming a restaurant after yourself is like bad luck. I mean, look at what happened to Sunny. Yeah, true story. So what we gonna call it then? I don't know. We'll think of something. Well, you better think fast. Well, I can't rush it. You know, I, it's got to be inspired. Well, let me know if you need some inspiration. <laughs> Boy, let, 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 me, let me tell you something, Larry. Let me tell you. Let, 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 first of all, who the hell cleans windows the way Don was cleaning windows when he was under there fixing that table? If they clean oh. windows like that on Fifth Avenue in New York, it'd be a whole lot of people falling out the sky trying to clean them skyscraper windows. It'd be accidents all over the place. Nobody cleans oh. windows bent over like that. Secondly, Dom know that he's with Tiff. She know that. And right. you cannot make such comments when you're in the presence of the girlfriend, the spouse, the baby mama, whoever. So that is just telling me that this is a setup for a breakup. And he's either going to lose his baby mama or he's going to lose the business or he might lose both. Business and pleasure this early don't mix. Larry, what do you think is going to happen to old broke dick Emmett? I think that I would not be surprised if him and Tiff break up. But I'll tell mm. you, I think, I think what might happen is I think he might break up with Tiff. It might not even get started fully with with uh, with Dom. Like besides just the the you know the one smash they had. Maybe they'll maybe they'll hook up again. But I don't think they'll ever hook up where they get together. I honestly believe he's going to end up not being with with Dom. He's going to break up with Tiff, and somehow he's going to end up back with Keisha. That's what I think is going to happen. But. I don't know, but I mean, but Tiff is not dumb. She's recognized, she recognized what happened. Either, either one of two things have happened. Either one, they've already been together, or she just knows there's that chemistry there. Something's gonna jump off. Mm -hmm. Or she already knows just by the way, Dom is, is just just being flexed on her that she wants him. And mm. so she knows Emmett's weak. So if Dom wants him, all she she knows that eventually one day they're gonna be working together. It's gonna be late. If Dom decides to throw it at him. Emmett's gonna take it. We already know because he already did take it. So, well, I just think it's, I think it's just a matter of time before it's all before it all blows up. You know, I hope the business doesn't blow up. To be honest with you, because I really like that that he has his own thing. Even though I hate the way he got it, I just want I want him to stop being a little hustle man, a little struggle man. I want him to actually get something and then grow the hell up. You know, you know, you know um, Keisha foreshadowed this with Emmett when he was in the room talking to her. She, mm. she foreshadowed that this was going to happen. It's just a matter of how is it going to go down? How is yeah. it going to happen? How is the destruction going to happen? And what is his mother going to have to say about all this? His mama know how he is. 
You know, right. she's a grandmother to what? Four kids now? She know how he is. How is she going to get drug into this? And they stay underneath her roof. So yeah. this could be I'll a tell you though, Lala is so big, man. I always used to tease and say that Keisha, uh, uh, Keisha uh, Tiff is like one cupcake away. And putting her next to, to Lala, man, she's like, she almost looks skinny. I was like, man. Hey, Lala man. Did. Stop it. You know you like all that rubber made. I do not. <laughs> Yeah, she, I, I can yeah, get down she, with she, size chicks. Man, I'm, I know, size I, I'm not I down see, with those big extra extras. I know you used to have a rubber band ball back when you was a kid, and she reminds you of every bit of mm. rubber band <laughs> you had in that ball. You ain't got a lot of old Monty <laughs> Mont. You ain't got a lot. That cow was out the barn. Man, she's gonna and if she gets any more work done, she's gonna have to put a recycling tattoo on her butt or something. I don't know. Hey, you know? <laughs> hey back that truck up. Beep, 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 beep. Everywhere she Man. goes, she go backwards. She's gonna have to have an alarm to get them hind parts through anything. But I I'll just say, Lala, if you ever watch this, enough is enough. I mean, <laughs> you didn't need it to begin with, but enough <laughs> is definitely enough. Please. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, and, we, and please don't and please don't go down that route that some people do when they start getting plastic surgery and start messing with their face, and next thing you know, you end up looking like some crazy cat person or something. Don't do that. You, you know? mean you mean tranny? No, I mean like people who look like they're like, and I hate I'm not trying to diss anybody, but like Lil Kim. Lil Kim is one of those oh. people that just went crazy on the plastic surgery and she looks like one of those people that's turned into like a cat person or something where her face starts looking like a character of a cat oh, she looks oh, crazy oh you saying she looked like michael jackson when he turned white is what you're trying to say i mean michael jackson was even looking different but michael jackson i felt like didn't go either as far as like lil kim did or he just had what? better plastic surgeons oh okay. he was crazy just not as crazy <laughs> Michael Jackson, by the time he was done, was looking just like the Scarecrow from The Wizard of Oz, only with only with a Jerry curl, and that's the same well, thing Little Kim did. That's him. Yeah, man. <laughs> Bro, yeah, that was him and the Wiz, man. That was him and the Wiz. He was just trying to live out the rest of that character's days for him. Well, so. we'll keep you guys abreast on episode nine. But I yeah. want to give another program note, ladies and gentlemen. It's about to get busy on Sundays. For those of you that didn't yeah. know, this Sunday, this show comes on too, Lovecraft Country. And yeah. this is going to be an absolute dynamo of a show. I'm going to have to try to do a whole lot of sleeping to get that in and then to try to do the shy to finish off the two episodes. Then I'm going to start putting Pete Valley in the mix on Monday 